What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here, and this will just be a quick video documenting the current state of my collection, including machines that I'm not planning on keeping, but that are still in my possession at the moment, so I've unboxed all the new machines that I got, so this will be a good time to show off all the machines that I currently have. We'll start off here in the laundry room where I have a few machines. Uh, the laundry room is generally wherever I keep machines that still need to be repaired. Um, then there was also the power force that I fixed with the cord on it. And I also, you can see I put an orange extension cord on it. I've pretty much been using this as like a shop vac sort of vacuum, but I clogged the lower hose in it. So I haven't been using it and I need to fix that again. And I'll probably just end up fixing it again and then just selling it because I don't need two of the exact same power force. Um, honestly, I don't really need more than one power force, let alone multiple of the exact same easily attainable power forces. So... That is the power force, and there's also another DC-33. There's the old Dirt Devil Breeze, which I did I did uh, wash out the hose on, but I haven't done any other work to it. And then that new Hoover Wind Tunnel T-Series with the uh, brush roll shut off. And over here, you can see we've got we've got that shark steam up. We've got the the black wind tunnel. We've got that Dirt Devil. Hoover Steam Vac, Dyson Ball DC-15, Wind Tunnel Self-Propelled, and Navigator. None of these vacuums have been worked on, hence why they're all back here and dirty and gross looking because I haven't worked on either of them yet, on any of them yet, I mean. So, then also we have a Swiffer Wet Jet back there. So, uh, that's all the vacuums in the laundry room that need to be worked on. And then out here in the dining room, the only vacuums I have out here is I still have that Bissell Power Force where the motor, the screws, and the cord were thrown away on. Uh, my dad accidentally threw all that stuff away. So that machine is out here, and I need to get a new motor for it. I really should have put the motor from the Power Force Helix in here, and as well as the cord, and you know, just bought a new pair of, a new set of screws. That would have helped. But in the meantime, that that's kind of the plan for now is just find another machine with a good motor in it. Uh, that isn't in the best condition physically because obviously if it's in mint condition that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pull apart a good machine and put it in a slightly worse machine so this is still just a shell that's sitting here that doesn't really have much of a use um, I guess if anyone wants to buy the parts off of this then maybe I'd be okay with that um, if you need any of the parts from this because this is effectively a parts machine so I, I may be open to selling parts if you need one of the parts off this um, besides the brush roll, because the brush roll I will keep because I use that for pretty much any Bissell. But other stuff like the hose, handle, dust cup, stuff like that, I, I may consider selling that. Um, not sure yet. I may keep the whole assembly, but we'll see. Then there's this blue wind tunnel that I just got yesterday. Haven't done a video on it otherwise. Um, got this from someone. She was selling it on Facebook Marketplace. She had just listed it for $10, and at first she said pending pickup, and I said, what if I give you $20? And then she's, and I, I said, I can give you $20. I can meet right now. And she's like, okay. So I, I probably could have gotten away with offering like $15, but I offered $20. So she took it. I haven't turned it on yet, but she says it works. It has all the attachments. So she said that this was her mother's vacuum, and she unfortunately passed away recently, so she didn't need the vacuum anymore. So they went ahead and sold it. This is the exact wind tunnel that I've always wanted, this dark blue color. So hopefully it works fine. Um, I haven't cleaned it up. I haven't tested it yet, but it is currently in my possession. So I currently have two of these wind tunnels. I have that black one with the digital back change indicator that's an older model. And then I have this one with just the standard back change indicator. And still the same embedded dirt, dirt finder and all the attachments. And the little uh, latch actually latches in properly. Whereas on the other one, it's loose and it's pretty dusty, but it has all the attachments, both the wands and the three tools. Uh, and, you know, it has a like, good quality bag in it. It looks like they took relatively good care of it. Uh, minus it, it does have some cobwebs and stuff in it from it presumably sitting out for a while. But um, it looks to be in good shape. I have no doubt that it'll probably work just fine. But yeah. So now we're going to go over. Oh yeah, and then the Swiffer Sweeper Vac that I bought. Uh, that I absolutely hate and still haven't done a review on it because I honestly keep forgetting I even own it. I wish I could have returned it. I can't. I'm angry that I can't return it. I hate this thing. So that's that. Then in this closet, here you can see I've got the DC-07 original and the purple Power Force Helix. 
The purple Power Force Helix is the only Power Force Helix I have left. I had the 1700 model and I had another blue, uh, a blue 2191 model. I sold both of those because I didn't need them and I like the purple more. So I may eventually sell this since I honestly don't need it, but we'll see. And there's a DCL7 original that I still haven't worked on. It needs a new lower hose and some filters and good cleaning. But I've still been using it since it still has good suction. So that's that. I've been using it over the low reach because I don't want to use the low reach as much. And then in this closet, you can see there's no light in this closet. But you can see I have the Bissell Big Green Commercial and the Power Force Helix Turbo. So both of those are in this closet. And finally, we've got the main, we've got my main room. You can see I've been working on the Navigator Liftaway and the Hoover uh, Elite Rewind Plus. Over here, we have the DC-33. We've got the Phantom Twister. Uh, DC-18. Two different Power Force. We've got the 3522-R. That one's going to Cameron. The 1398 that I just repaired. The Power Force Compact that now has a bad motor. The T-Series. The Daredevil Breeze I just unboxed. The Elite Rewind that I have, the Elite Rewind that I just unboxed, the, the Swivel Glide, Power Trek Revolution, Dirk Double Total Pet that I'm not selling because it's under recall, uh, the 10 Amp Phantom Fury, Power Force 1739, newest model, Shark Zero M. This one's that DC 18 that I got from the, the uh, seller that smells really bad, so I still haven't worked on it yet. But as long as I don't take off the cyclone assembly, then there's no, like, lingering smells. So at some point, I'll pull that apart and look at it. And just pulling these machines out so I can get a good look in here. Oops. Again, there's a 0M. Clearly running out of space here. So back here, let's see, can I turn this light on? can reach this okay give me one sec there we go so all the way back here we have the power glide in front of it we have the Kenmore Destiny Plus then we have the Bissell Power Groom Bagless Eureka Airspeed 1 Auric XL2 Ultra uh, Auric Classic XL Classic Dyson DC07 Low Reach Bissell Power Force 3522-5 Got the old Hoover Runabout, haven't worked on yet. Um, oh, by the way, so go over the ones I haven't worked on yet. Orca, I haven't worked on yet. Destiny Plus, still haven't worked on yet. Eureka, I haven't worked on. Pilgrim is obviously new. Orca XL Classic, I haven't worked on yet. Low Reach, I haven't worked on yet. Uh, Power Force, I have worked on. Runabout, I haven't worked on yet. Hasn't really needed it, though. This is a DC-18 that I got. It was still missing the stair tool until now because it just arrived so i finally got that so now this dc18 is complete after we just snap that in there there we go now it's complete so that works just fine see how clean that brush is here's a power lifter pet bag that i just bought haven't used it yet the 12 amp phantom fury Bissell Power Glide Platinum. So these are my two favorite machines. So I have them up on this little little shelf right here since these are my favorite ones. So whenever someone asks me, hey, what's the favorite vacuum out of your collection? It's a tie between these two. So, and then here's one of my stick vacs. The only stick vac I still have left because I sold the other ones because they were kind of superfluous. This is the Bissell, what is this, 3-in-1, something like that. Don't really use it all that much. I have a Dyson V7 on the way, but it was supposed to arrive like three weeks ago, and it still hasn't arrived yet. It was supposed to arrive two days ago. The seller, and I tried to ask eBay to step in since it still hasn't arrived yet, and the seller got really pissed at me, so I retracted that. Let's see if that was a good idea or not. If this, if that V7 actually arrives, then yeah. If it doesn't arrive, then well, I'm gonna be pissed because that's two hundred dollars. So. This is the, uh, I probably should curse less, so this is that Bissell, and that's everything that's in here, and again, there's the other machines, so again, if uh, also the swivel glides, because people keep asking about the swivel glide, I haven't worked on that yet, uh, just, just as like a thing, please quit asking me, because I have so many people ask me, have you worked on this vacuum yet, have you worked on this vacuum yet? No, I have not. If you have to ask that question, the answer is no, I have not. Because if you 
because I do videos on every single vacuum that I fix. So if I haven't, if you haven't seen a video on it yet, then that means I haven't fixed it yet. So quit asking me the same question over and over again. Thank you. Um, and I'm sorry to like, I'm trying not to sound rude by saying that, but it's just people ask me the same question over and over again. It gets extremely infuriating because it's always the same answer and the answer never changes. And if it does change, then they didn't watch the newest video. So yeah. But, um, and again, I, and, uh, and another thing is, and the reason for that, I should probably explain the reason for that is because I sell a lot of these machines, these machines over here, I'm selling some of these machines I'm trying to sell. So I'm obviously going to prioritize, at least in my case, I'm going to prioritize repairing the machines that I want to sell because I want to be able to list those as quickly as I can. So they have more time to sit on the market and be sold. Whereas my personal vacuums, I'm always going to have them, so if I fix it now or if I fix it a month from now, what difference does it make? I'm still going to keep it either way. So that's kind of my little rant on that, just kind of a little mini rant. And I'm sure anyone who has a large number of vacuums in their collection can probably agree with this, that if they get a lot of requests for the same vacuum and they keep having to repeat themselves over and over again, even if it's to different people, it can get frustrating after a while. Um, but yeah... So that's the current vacuum collection as of, what day is it, June 4th? And, uh, yeah. So, there's some new vacuums I'll be getting, and hopefully some of these will finally get sold. Um, obviously, also, by the way, this Dirt Devil Breeze has a broken handle on it, because this, this plastic part is warped. So, I'm going to call Dirt Devil after this video, and hopefully they'll send me a replacement handle, because I just bought this brand new. There's no reason the handle should be broken on this. It works, but the handle's broken. So, yeah, the Elite is fine, though. The Power Lifter is fine. Neither of those have any issues. So, that's not an issue with either of those. Also, the only vacuum that I have left now that I haven't shown is the Eureka that was sitting outside, that blue Power Plus, and that one is still sitting outside because it's really gross and I don't want to bring it inside yet. Um, so yeah, that's the entire vacuum collection as of June 4th, 2020. Is it the 4th? I think it's the 4th of June. So I've recorded this the same day that it was uploaded, so whatever day it is, I haven't bothered to check. I'm not wearing my watch. So that is that. So that's the entire collection right there. Just a bunch of bunch of vacuums. Just a bunch of vacuums. Okay, I'm gonna fix this. Gonna complain about this. There we go. That's how it's supposed to look, right? All right. So oh, I don't want to break my fury. I keep accidentally kicking this fury by accident. I don't mean to, but it just keeps getting in the way, and I keep accidentally kick kicking it which is unfortunate. By the way, I'm getting a new Fury soon. Yes, I'm getting a third Fury. So, I may end up selling this 10-amp one because I know a lot of people really want this 10-amp one because it's the one from all the infomercials. So, I may end up selling it, keyword may. So, um, you know, I may end up selling that. By the way, um, some at some point soon, I'm going to set up my offer up to where I'll be able to start selling vacuums on offer up so if you ever want to buy any of the machines in my collection and they're ones that i am well i guess not in my collection but the machines that i'll be selling i should clarify because obviously some of these are not going to be for sale um i will open up my offer up pretty soon because offer up is the best place to ship a vacuum because they give you prepaid shipping labels so you just put you just pay a flat rate it's like 14 or 16 dollars and it's much cheaper than shipping it on eBay, where shipping can sometimes be $30, $40. So, you know, especially for the more budget machines, that's really helpful. So, and also, you have to be keep in mind, because I've, tried, I've had people try to scam me on OfferUp, or they'll try to tell me, no, shipping is actually $30, when what they don't tell you is that OfferUp is paying for the shipping, so they're just actually just tacking on an extra price uh, that is unnecessary because OfferUp pays for the shipping. At least in the few sales that I made on OfferUp, OfferUp is paid for the shipping. So unless they didn't set it up properly, uh, sellers on OfferUp should never ask you to pay more for shipping than what you already paid because they are not paying that price. So if they're telling you that you need to pay more to cover the cost of shipping, they are lying to you. So yeah, that's something that I learned. Again, unless, unless somehow it was 
Um, unless maybe like because I think that label covers covers vacuums uh, officially up to 20 pounds. Although I've shipped a vacuum that was 21 pounds and it was an issue. Maybe if the vacuum weighs like 25 pounds, then maybe that's the case and they won't cover it. But um, I don't know. I'll have to see. So some of these vacuums, like of course uh, the vacuums that I am selling, I'm selling the T series. I'm selling the Navigator Liftaway. I'm selling the the Elite Rewind Plus. Um, this is going to Cameron next week. Uh, I was going to ship it to him today, but he said, hey, can we wait till next week? And that's cool with me. So I'll ship that to him next week. Um, if anyone wants this compact that I haven't, that just went dead for some reason. Um, or if a collector wants this dirt double total pet, I may sell it to him since, you know, they understand the risk of buying it since it is recalled. So, yeah. Uh, uh, also, I'll, I'll probably sell the XL Classic since I have the other Auric. I don't really need more than one Auric. I do want an XL21 or a Platinum Pilot to go alongside this, and those are the two Aurics that I'll be happy with. So, yeah. That's the collection right now. Just a super quick collection video, even though it's 15 minutes long. Super quick collection video. And uh, I know this room's a mess. I, I've just got too much crap. Uh, too much, too many vacuums. I've got too many vacuums. And I gotta get rid of some of these. I gotta fix some of these and get rid of them. So... Yeah, anyways, this is Intellitech Studio signing out. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you all have a good one.